Hey everyone. Welcome back to the outpost. We are taking you along on a toy hunt with us today. So we'll be hitting some local Targets, Walmarts, and some of our local shops like um, the Collector's Marketplace of Toy Anxiety. And we're gonna see what we can find for some Star Wars figures, as you guys know, we're collectors. Yes. So come hang out with us and hopefully some of our tips and tricks will help you guys start your collection or continue adding to your collection. Yep, so come along with us and let's see what we can find. All right guys, so we're gonna check out our first uh, Walmart, which is our local Walmart here, which it already looks like it's busy at 10.30 in the morning. It's popping. Gotta mask up first. Safety first, right? Put your mask on. I am. Dylan. And the hunt begins. And it looks like I haven't even put it out. So it looks like their their load of stuff is still here. Nope. This was everything from yesterday. No, somebody came and they bought. I bought that. Oh wait, series. no, we bought that. <laughs> Uh, and then the last place that we like to check is over by the collectible aisle. Nothing. All right, so the collectible aisle is always going to be right here in electronics. And they have they've had that rent. night of Ren. Oh, they have like two. two, three of them. Three of them. For like months, and they never stock anything here. So before we head out of town to actually hit the stores, go and do a quick car wash. Music goes perfect with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on the target it is. All right, round two at target, and I can already see it. Not too much. Yeah. What? Oh, they have the new wave again. Yeah, they have the new wave again. Like they just put these out. They got the loop. They got everybody. Do they have the droid? No, they don't. No droid. There you go, new wave. I'm probably gonna grab a couple more of those. All right, so you guys can also check underneath here. A lot of the times, there's like a gym line that they don't clean down there. That looks like nothing. Yeah, and then Mia checked behind. So if someone was hiding these Black Series <laughs> uh, childs behind these two. Behind. So they put a clearance item here, which obviously it's not even the right thing. But they had it pushed way back hey. in between. The Jurassic World yeah, stuff. So always check back behind stuff like that. All right, guys. So we decided last minute not to get the child stuff because we're personally I like action figures myself. Uh, so we're gonna go and do an unboxing with the Best Ben Luke, the 40th anniversary, and then we're gonna do the um, the R2 D2, the Digaba. I don't know why I said Best Ben Luke. I meant Digaba. And then we're also got the K2SO, the Stormtrooper, and the Chewbacca. Still. So we're gonna do an unboxing on those two for you guys. All right, now we're at the collectible side, which they never have too much here. Looks like they still have the the Baby Yoda, the child speaker, Bluetooth speakers, for socks. For like everybody. Socks. For everybody that was complimenting my bag. I got it at Target. Oh yeah, so these bags, guys, this is where you get them from at Target. They're and it's like they're restocking a lot. Yeah, and it's $24.99, so don't let eBay price gougers get you. Yes. All right, Target number two. We need to find the Mission Fleet Boba. Follow the Mia train. Thank you. And remember to always check the clearance aisle, guys. And mission fleet? Yes, but the bulbs are gone. All the same black series too. All the same as always, huh? Mm -hmm. Wedge and Luke Yavin. Engineering. Ooh. Score. I know, I was just getting ready to say. We have the Mando stuff. So you got the Star Wars Mission Fleet Mando in. We're gonna grab that at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check 
nothing. Let's see. They actually were mean underneath those ones. Check this one in here. <laughs> Oh no, they clean. Not gonna be anything. If you guys ever see it clean like that, don't even bother. Oh, remember to always check to see if people are hiding things. Just trust me, it happens. And their collector section that looks dry for Star Wars again. They're always dry in Star Wars now. I mean, they have like the child stuff. As you guys can tell, uh, we don't really collect anything other than Star Wars. Maybe eventually we're going to branch off and... That's not like, true. These I Godzillas are awesome. I picked up a Tupac. You did pick up a Tupac. And uh, the Oogie Boogie. Oh, and the Oogie Boogie, yeah. This is the only time I've seen the Oogie Boogie. Alright, well... On to the next. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, I got that one. <laughs> yeah. We like to use the force when we open our doors. You know, we always have to rip. Alright, let's get it. Toy Hut or Tupac. I see you're rocking the uh, new Star Wars bag. Mm -hmm. And the new Star Wars Jack, Jack Band. Band. Bye. Crafty Jack Band. Alright, babe, here's clearance. Oh, it's like the plan. Oh, big. Let's look all Black Panther. Rock Python, though, for $5. Here's an end cap for the child. Always have the ink caps for the child now because they don't sell anymore. The child was a little overdone. Never go by the Star Wars sign because half the time they're wrong. And it looks like they don't have boba still. Still no boba? Everybody took boba. Seriously. I'm surprised though because I would have thought Ahsoka would have been a, good, a big one. Like. There's no need for that. Everybody takes Boba from me. It's like my hard to find figure always happens. Uh, you want me to check the bottom? I'll check it. See old man Grant get down. Flexes. Oh, it's that jet trooper. Walmart app, you always use it. <laughs> use it. So you can always use the price checker. Yeah, it's gonna take 10 years. Of course it would. Five dollars. Is he really? That's what it says. Heck yeah. Five dollars. Heck yeah. Underneath the shelf. So, anytime you come to Walmart, look up top, and if you don't see anything up top, or when you're looking behind all the other toys, Go to the very, very bottom and under the shelving, like under there, usually you'll find some gems. Good Five dollar score. All right guys, so this one, this Target's actually special to me. It's actually really cool that we're doing this right now because oh I've been wanting, oh me, I forgot a mask. Um, I've been wanting to come here. This is actually the Target that I grew up on that I went to as a kid every week to actually pick up um, some action figures, some toys. Well, they have the wave here. It's gone. And of course, Boba went on right here. No Boba? I don't think so. Nope. Guys, what is going on here? I just need the Boba. Check here. Nothing. Nothing. Check back behind here. No, someone's hiding something there. I don't know. I'm hiding that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, babe? No. Look how many pops they got. 
Like, this is the most organized Target. I was literally just about to say, this Target is super organized. Oh, look, there's more over here. Are there? What do you got now, Ford? Well, on to the next. We're supposed to be toy hunting, <laughs> and Mia always has to pick up disinfectant wipes everywhere she goes. You know, before the pandemic happened, this was my life every day. So now that I'm running out of stuff, I gotta replenish my stock. Nothing. Wait, no boba? Son of a, oh, ooh, Rex. <gasps> no! Yeah. Oh, see what else they have. Rex. Mando. Did get a Rex though. That was worth it. Oh, the 110% worth it. Nope. Show everybody the Rex. Oh, yes. They have their Blackberry stuff and everything all weird. It's like Based sporadic. No boba yet. Jesus. I feel like I should have just picked up the jacked up boba. <laughs> you should have. This is where they had them. Was, was this one? Yep. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing in that one either. Nothing. Well, you didn't check behind over here. Nothing. No. No, it doesn't look like anything over here either. I cannot believe that I still can't find this boba. <laughs> we found him the other day and it was just, he was so tore up. Anything? Yeah, the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary stuff. Oh, they do. I haven't seen those in a while. Yeah, they have that and they have the hat again too. We're bad at 12.99, but we're toy hunting. I'm parking over here. All right, guys. Covered parking. Covered parking. So we're gonna hit the collector's marketplace right now and see what we can find. This is our number one spot. Thanks, man. What's going on, man? Hey. Back again. Yes, I know. <laughs> and then a lot of their side shows. I like that airborne trooper. They have a Cody. I don't remember him being yeah, here. Yeah, that's the Cody I was looking at, but see how yellow he is? Mm hmm. His plate. Mm -hmm. His chest plate. Oka. Actually, both of my Ahsokas. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got all the TVCs. This is what I love right here. And of course, all their loose and boxes plus all the vintage. That job is not bad. Missing a couple pieces, but 50 bucks. The AT and then the <laughs> Millennium Falcon the Legacy. It's not bad for two fifty. It's only missing a few pieces. I just don't know what they're missing on the inside. It it went down to three hundred to two fifty. Yeah. Is it? Remember when Clone Wars originally came out? So if you've never seen the Clone Wars, so originally it came out on Cartoon Network and then they canceled it for a little mm -hmm. bit. And then other stations um, picked it back up. But look. The original Mace Windu, huh? Mm-hmm. And That's then cool. they have an Obi-Wan. Obi but like, it's a trip to like see that. Another Obi-Wan. I think it, there's three of them. Oh no, know. Annie. Yeah. And then of course, they do more loose. 
all vintage but no weapons as you can see they're pricing out $7.99 for the Rees etc and then look at this Darth Vader bank though I think I'm gonna get that like eBay and see if I can find these in their packaging because I want them loose too but I want to get them graded I want to have like a whole collection of just graded ones. Just graded, graded Clone Wars or just graded different figs? No. So I'm going to do graded, graded vintage figs. Graded Clone, Clone Wars. All right guys, so we're going to leave with just the fives. Bonnie. And apparently that maybe. <laughs> hey guys, so we're here at Toy Anxiety. We haven't been here before. Um, I'm curious to see. So we, there's a couple things we didn't get at the collector's marketplace because we wanted to see what they had here at first. So let's go inside. Hopefully we find some gems. Yeah. Um, we've heard about this place before, but um, have never actually been to it. So, and this is about what, an hour and a half away from our place? Yes. So I'm really hoping that the trip out here is worth it. Let's go. Oh my God, look, that's so cute. Their signage. Notice from the Republic Senate to ensure the safety and continuing stability, the Republic will be issuing a mandatory face mask policy. It says security. Chancellor Xi Kavati in the Senate. That's awesome. They didn't get that. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. Yourself? Very well, thank you. Good. Look, babe, it's a ceramic jar. Yeah, that's awesome. I need that for my kitchen. Oh, is it the uh, hologram? Mm hmm. That's awesome. Mine's only 12 bucks. It's not bad either. Oh, it's packaging though. It's, I think it's just normal on this. It's gonna be hard to find stuff that's like super minty. Yeah, they're the carbonized stormtrooper though. Alright, guys, so as you know, we're gonna be leaving with the Commander Wolf. And I'll take a look at the R2 right now. These are the droids you're looking for. That's the uh, <laughs> pursuit of your happiness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So finds we got a Commander Wolf. You want to turn the AC? Here? Oh yeah, sorry. We got a Commander Wolf for seventy-five Black Series. Pretty darn good condition, worth a lot more than that. So that was a good pickup. All right, guys, and then we also got the 1977 R2 we picked up there because he's in really good condition. Tad bit, but not much. It's not much of a yellowing. You can just tell it's getting old, but man, really good condition for 77. And how much? Do you what? remember? How should we get him for? Um, I thought it was 50. Good job. Yeah. So another good find. All right, guys, and then we also picked up the 1982 C3PO. Really good condition as well. Um, pretty stiff on the arms. A little, little tad bit loose on the legs, as you can see. Um, but other than that, he's in good condition. Good pickup. How much? Twenty nine. That's how much. So. guys we're back home it's now 702 yeah so we're <laughs> a little bit tired we hit what we had some other Walmarts we didn't put in the video though because they were terrible they had like nothing but yeah. all together what collectors marketplace toy anxiety we went to four three targets or four targets we went to three, three Walmarts. Walmarts and that's it yeah it's not bad we only spent about Got them out. <laughs> <laughs> but we got some good stuff. So we hope you guys enjoy coming along with us. If you did enjoy, leave a comment below. If you guys want to see something different, leave a comment below. Like and subscribe. Turn on the notifications. Check us up on Instagram as well. And we'll see you on the next hunt. Bye. Bye.